Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a long time that I shared any video. So today, uh, today's topic, I will talk about uh, services in open system. How to start a service, how to stop a service, and how to check the status of the service. So we'll take an example of SSH, which is a secure shell mechanism to connect to a remote system. So what I will do is I will uh, use this window system and I will try to connect from here uh, to to open system which I have installed in the same system so I am uh, using this uh, VMware and I have installed Ubuntu okay so with this is uh, you can see this uh, Linux is already installed so in this in the system I have this uh, uh, server running which I will access from from our Windows system which is my host system okay so uh, let's go ahead and try to uh, do understand this okay so I'll just open this uh, terminal okay so if you see this is my uh, server uh, which is installed this is my this is my open system which is installed so I will as I told I will talk about the services and I'll use the uh, SSS as an example okay so let's say if I just if I want to check the status of any service so I will do service and then the service name which will be sshd SSH daemon is the service name for secure shell uh, mechanism okay so if I do this so it's saying the SSH service is active okay so it's already running okay so let's say if I want to stop the service so what's the command so if I want to stop the service I have to give service then the service name and then stop so this service will be stopped and uh, of course it will ask for the admin password because these all are the administra administrative level commands okay so now you see if I run the command again the status command it is saying Act status is inactive okay so now if I try to uh, connect to the server using an any uh, you know Windows system external systems okay so how do I do that so if I go to my server again okay so to know the host name or the IP address what I will do is I will run if config which is a command to give to list out all the uh, IP configuration in your system okay so if I run this command you see it is listing all the Ethernet connections okay uh, so you see here I have this IP address 192.168.234.128 so we're gonna use this IP address to connect to the server 192.168.234. Was that uh, 128 okay so if I give 128 and the port is default 22 for SSH okay when I try to connect it's saying uh, network error connection refused okay why because we have not started the SSH service okay let's go ahead and start the SSH okay yeah so what I'm doing is I'm starting the SSH now again last for the admin password okay now if I check the status you see now the SSH service is active it's in green state okay now we again go back to my Windows system which is an external system uh, which is a host okay so if I try to reconnect see now now I am able to connect so it's asking for login okay so you see now I'm able to log into the same server which is now accessible from a Windows system okay so this is how a client server architecture work using the SSH mechanism okay so now you see the by default I'm giving the port number 22 in many uh, organization uh, people use customized IP uh, port number to make their connect to make their uh, connection secure because 22 is the default port number for SSH and this can be hacked by the hackers okay so what we do is in most of the organization uh, there is a 
way to customize the SSH port okay so if you go to uh, etc uh, SSH okay so you first of all you have to be the admin to do that and if you have the admin rights what you have to do is there is a config file called SSH D okay so if you open this file there is this configuration called port number okay you see what ports IP and protocol we listen for so this is the this is the uh, uh, characteristics which is used uh, to listen uh, the connections from the client so here it is defined that the port that we gonna use is 22 what I will do is if I change this to something else okay uh, let's say okay I'm not able to change this file because I need to open this file we, uh, with an admin okay let's become admin first okay so yeah I go back I, as an admin SSH SSH D okay now I, ch I change this port number to something else let's say 500 double two so now I change the port this is the default and I change it to 500 double two and I save it okay and then what I will do what I will do is I will uh, restart the SSH service because any changes you make you need to restart the service okay service so SSH SSH D and then stop and again <coughs> I'm, I'm starting it okay so the service is started with the customized port number now I try to connect again okay duplicate session now if I try to connect see it is saying the connection is refused why because I am giving 22 as the uh, port number to connect to the server but the server is listening on something else so what I have to do is I have to give the port number which only the organization know which only I know so that way we can make the connection secure okay so yeah let's connect to 192.168.234.124 okay this is the IP address IP address will be the same but what I have done is I change the port number so I'll give the customized port number which is 500.22 if I try to connect now it should work okay uh, well, let's see it's not working okay we go back again to our server fine now I run this uh, if config when I need to 168 uh, 234.128 okay I think I gave the IP address wrong okay we try to do it one more time I'm sorry uh, new session 192.168.234.128 this is a this is the IP address of the server and the port number is 500.2 okay I'm sorry 192.168.234.128 okay Five double zero double two. I think this time it should work. Okay, now I see the connection is stable list, and I am getting this uh, login prompt. So I'll just give my username and my password. Okay, so now you're connected. So you see, right? This is the way we can customize the SSS configuration, and we can you know uh, make a secure connection okay so this is how you can configure a service you can start a service you can stop service okay before you uh, let's say if you if the SSS is not installed in your system so how do we do that so you if you want to set up the SSS for the first time you have to install it using app apt install apt install open SSH this is the package that you have to install in your system so if you run this command it will say following additional package will be installed open SSS client open SSS SFTP server so this is already installed in my system so if I put yes it will upgrade it okay and if you 
uh, are installing it for the first time it will be installed newly so this is the first thing that you have to do before proceeding with the SSH okay so uh, this is how we work with SSH in a secure environment so that's all in this tutorial I uh, hope this will help you in your working environment and uh, if you like it please subscribe and share with your people thanks for watching that's all bye bye